Hacking down in the second row for Claremont was Jamie Cudmore. The giant Canadian has a tough guy reputation, but we saw the other side of the man, affectionately known as Cuddles, at home in France. We started a little under two years ago and uh, constructing here with my, my wife, and, uh, and we managed to find a nice plot of land, and uh, still not quite done, but I've had a lot of, a lot of help from uh, family and friends, and. Um, Especially my brother was over here last year. We did the whole outside of the house here in wood to kind of give it that Canadian feel, and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're pretty happy. So the bear watches out for everyone, and uh, got the deck down here, and a view of the mountains, the South Sea, uh, where we go uh, take the kids skiing, and um, now we're uh, very lucky to have this uh, beautiful place to call home. But Cudmore's life could have turned out very differently. As a teenager in Winnipeg, he fell in with the wrong crowd and spent a year in a youth detention centre. You make dumb decisions when you're a kid and sometimes they follow you around longer than you want them to. But he turned his life around and rugby played a big part in that process. It gave me an outlet for, uh, for a lot of energy and um, and also gave me a family, a group of friends uh, at a time when it was needed most. Living in France, we're a long way away from all that. And many years have passed, so I'm definitely a different person than right now. The 35-year-old has been a fixture in the Claremont side for almost a decade and has been an integral part of the team's incredible unbeaten home run of 76 games. We've got that old French ethos of uh, you never lose at home. Uh, going pretty well right now, so uh, I don't want to jinx it, but um, you know, we're just going to keep uh, taking it week by week and hopefully we can get maybe get to 100, who knows. But their success at home hasn't produced the expected rewards. Claremont have too often fallen short. They lost last year's Heineken Cup final, despite dominating much of the match and failed in three consecutive top 14 finals before eventually claiming their first title in 2010. It's almost like a volcano blew off uh, here in Claremont. It was, uh, it was quite a, I think a, the biggest thing was a collective sigh of relief from supporters that have been with the club for 50, 60 years to, to us who worked so hard over the last, or over the last, the four finals that we've, we've gone through. And um, you know, it, was, uh, it was a huge, uh, it was a huge win for, for the club and for the players. And, uh, I'm, uh, I'm still thinking about it. Always brings back happy memories. Cudmore has represented Canada in three World Cups, but the 2007 tournament in his adopted country remains his favorite campaign. Playing in France was, uh, was something, it was special, you know, living and playing here, and then uh, obviously being uh, almost a tour guide for a lot of the Canadian guys, taking them around and showing them kind of where we play, and. Uh, it's too bad we couldn't done a bit better. We, we always kind of at least um, at least look at getting into the quarterfinals, but um, you know, unfortunately, we, uh, we didn't quite make it. He may have achieved rugby fame, but it's his brother who takes top billing in his family, having starred in the X Men and Twilight movies. The Big Shot, you mean? Yeah, the Big Shot. Yeah, we. Uh, I don't know if you talked to him. Normally, we got to go through his agent or his PA or something like that. But uh, yeah, the Big Shot, we call him. Yeah my brother Daniel. But now in the twilight of his playing career, he's starting to consider his future. Oh, there's lots of plans, but um, you know, we'll see uh, in what direction it's really gonna go. Um, I'm really enjoying my coaching right now with uh, the cadets here, the under 16s. And one of the reasons I like, I like coaching so much is you, know, you try and give something back to this beautiful game that's helped me so much. But um, for the moment, I'm, uh, I'm just concentrating on, on playing well for Clermont and uh, and again this summer for Canada.